Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of this book. It's called Toxic Health, and we're going to be looking into one of the subjects of toxic health, which is grounding systems. And right now, we have the electrical system in the house. This power strip is hooked into it, and the ground pin is this top round pin on the power strip. And that grounds all your appliances in the house. So it's become popular to come into contact with grounding systems for human health reasons. And I'm actually researching this a little bit further, and I currently don't recommend that people, in America at least, come into contact with their grounding systems because it does actually connect into the neutral connection of the utility transformer in America. And that particular connection may have an AC voltage on it, and it may also have some very high frequency energy content to it. So you could get quite ill connecting in on an AC electric system. But the interesting thing that I'm looking at tonight is radio waves. And it's been reported that grounding systems give out radio waves, and it's been something that I've been quite interested in for a while, because I do have some grounding problems on my house, uh, in particular a stray voltage problem. And uh, I was quite interested as to whether my grounding system is giving out radio waves. So the simplest way to figure out if your grounding system is giving out radio waves is to use an AM radio. And you just need to tune it into static. And we're on the AM band, and it's tuned in to 5.30. You can be tuned in anywhere on the AM band, because what we're going to be recording is wideband radio wave emissions from the electrical equipment. And that will show up anywhere on the AM band. So we're using 5.30 because it's very quiet around here. There's no radio station on 5.30. So we're going to be tuned into static. And we're actually going to test this cable. So this cable is hooked in through the plug into the power strip. So this whole length of black cable is actually grounded to the house grounding system. And I discovered earlier this evening it's actually giving out radio waves. So let's take a look at that. So our radio is on, it's recording static, until we get close to the grounding cable. So it appears that there is maybe a six inch to one foot field of radio waves around the ground cable. And we're going to verify that it's not just the cable that's interfering with the radios. So we're going to disconnect it. So now this is just an open-ended piece of cable. There's absolutely no effect on the radio. Now, the interesting thing is, at my house, I actually have an extra ground connection. And I install this ground connection for testing purposes like we're doing tonight. Now this connects into my garden, the very back end of my house. My electrical system is at the front end of the house. So this is a non-electrified ground connection and it should have no AC voltage on it. So let's see how that interacts with the radio. Absolutely no effect. Let's go back to our original grounded connection and see what happens. So as you can see, this ground connection at my home does actually give out radio waves. And something to be aware of is wherever there's electrical cables in your home, 
if your ground connection has radio wave emissions on it, it'll probably be on all cables. Um, wherever those cables run, there will be a field of radio waves around them. So this is an important concept around children, particularly babies and young children who have developing cells, is that you want to make sure that they're away from cables, particularly when they're sleeping, because anywhere where there's a cable, there may be radio waves. And if there's radio waves, they may start showing some problems with their development. And uh, because they're silent, you can't hear them. You basically need test equipment. And in this case, a very simple AM radio is our test equipment. Uh, most people have an AM radio. It's a very simple test to do. You just need some bits of cable, your AM radio, and start testing. And the thing to be aware of is that if you do have radio waves on your system, they may come and go depending on the loads that are on the system. So you should take, check your system at various times during the day and the night. And, you know, it will differ between midweek and weekends. So you should do a variety of tests and uh, try and figure out whether these radio waves are coming and going on your grounding system. And if you do have them, uh, you may want to notify your electrical company that your grounding system does actually give out radio waves and see what they say. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.